This mouth-watering cake looks absolutely amazing. It's become a tradition at Easter time for Katie Jacobs and her family, and it could be a tradition for your family as well. Katie's here to share the recipe for hummingbird cake, and she's also going to show us how to create this beautiful frosting technique that looks like a speckled egg. It's just amazing. It's really beautiful. It is gorgeous. It's a showstopper for Easter, but it really is so simple to make. Yeah, and it'd be great, really, for any time. Oh, yeah. It's my favorite birthday cake ever. I yeah? Make it every year. All right, hummingbird really cake. Nice. What's the story? Well, it is very similar to a carrot cake. It's like a spice cake um, but with no carrots so it has banana and pineapple and coconut and nuts in okay. it which makes it the signature so I went ahead and um, jumped ahead a little bit and combined the wet ingredients okay. which is the oil the sugar the vanilla and um, you just beat that for a couple of minutes with okay. eggs and then you add in all this goodness um, oh, yum. so mashed banana and then the pineapple an eight ounce can of, um, of crushed pineapple coconut and pecans and you can um, you know, use walnuts if you want to. Too. And you're draining that can of pineapple. Yes. So it's yes. not too wet. But this is a very moist cake, isn't it? Oh yeah. It, I mean, and it, the there's cinnamon in the dry ingredients, which make it a little bit spicy. Mm. Um, but the banana and the pineapple really keep the moisture. Yeah. Would you be doing this in the mixer at home if we weren't doing um, this on TV? Yes, it yeah. makes it so much easier. But you can. If you don't have a mixer at home, you can totally do it okay. by hand. Don't so you're going to incorporate all those ingredients. Yes. And uh, you make this in a uh, small six-inch pan. Yes, yes, which is kind of a strange size to have on hand. But I really like a smaller, taller cake. Mm -hmm. um, so I do four layers. But if you have a nine-inch, eight- or nine-inch pan, you can just do it in two pans. Okay. Um, bake it exactly the same and just to layer the two. Okay, yeah. good. So we bake a basic um, cream cheese frosting cream cheese, butter, powdered sugar, vanilla, um, and then divide it in half and we do a crumb coat just to, because we want the outside to be perfect later So tell on. what a crumb coat is. That's what we're, you're seeing right here. Yeah, so you just layer um, your cake layers and then you just um, use the frosting to do a very thin layer of icing and then you put it in the refrigerator to set. So, this so it doesn't is, get all crumbly on the outside when you're frosting exactly. it. Exactly. Okay. So none of the crumbs come through on your Smart. final frosting. Okay. Um, so we did the final frosting and to make it really smooth, if You'll just dip your spatula in warm water um, and then run over it on the outside. That's kind of a bakery tip. It just makes it really smooth frosting on the outside. Okay, yeah, that does look really smooth. Yeah. So That's we just beautiful. went ahead and frost. Um, I went ahead and did the other side. Okay. So we can just do the rest of the top here. Okay. Um, and I, I divided the icing in two and added um, blue food coloring to the second half okay. just to make a really nice robin eggs blue. And when you're Coloring your icing, do one drop at a time. Yeah. Um, because you can very easily ruin um, a whole batch of frosting by adding too much color. Having the right tools really helps too, doesn't it? Yes. And this offset metal spatula is my favorite tool in my whole kitchen. I use it for everything. Um, right. and Take it a look at what frosting. that is. Can you see it right there? Yeah. And this this cake stand is awesome too. It yeah, I've, I've decided I want one of these. <laughs> need this. Need the need the little rotating thing yes, too. Yes, it makes frosting a cake so easy. Okay, so you get the idea there. All yes. right, show us how we do this speckle. Okay, now so the your paint is basically one tablespoon of cocoa mm -hmm. and then one and a half tablespoons of vanilla extract okay. and it kind of makes a paint and you can use a um, never been used paintbrush or these are just basting brushes okay. for cooking um, and so you take your the outside and this makes a huge mess okay. <laughs> you just step back um, but it would be really fun for kids um, and you just kind of flick it onto the cake and it makes that beautiful speckling and you cannot go wrong I mean you don't want it to be perfect you just want it to be um, let me turn it around that way. And you'll speckle until you get it as dark as you yes, want it to yes, be. You can just and so that's going. just going to give you a teeny bit of chocolate flavor on the outside. Right, yeah. Yeah, totally edible. Oh, wow. How fun. Yes, and then you put really a few fun. little speckled eggs on the top. And right, which just, you can make or those are store bought. Yeah. Oh, so, so pretty. Can't wait to try this cake. Oh, it's delicious. It yeah, is beautiful. We can try. Yeah, oh, you know we're going to try it. <laughs> we're going to jump into it. Katie, thanks so much. Thank you so much. Happy Easter to you. Yes, happy Easter. This is recipe number 5510. It's online now in the Talk of the Town section at newschannel5.com. It's also on Katie's blog, stylingmyeveryday.com, where you'll find all the complete instructions for this cake and lots of other fabulous ideas, too.